Hey everybody. Uh, so I wanted to follow up with you all a little bit about these books that I'm reading. The series is called The Ringing Cedar Series. Uh, the first one was Anastasia. The author is Vladimir McGray. I made a video about uh, the first one a few weeks ago and I've made my way through about the first four books now and they continue to really uh, seep into my soul and to speak to me very clearly uh, about how this earth will be transformed through our love and through uh, through remembering who we are, through remembering, uh, you know, the source uh, that moves the love and understanding on this planet through us. And, you know, she talks a lot of, in this book, Co-Creation, about our origins, the origin of how life came to be on this earth, uh, the kind of life that is on other planets in the earth, uh, and how we can best serve each other, and how we can live in a way that supports life. I really love that idea of living in a way that supports life, because I think so much uh, we live in a way that supports destruction, you know, not creation. And I, something that I see around my uh, see around me a lot right now, uh, as you know, things get harder for some people on the level of finances, and we start seeing like rice disappearing off of shelves and people buying up that kind of stuff like flour and uh, you know things that they need, uh, things that they think they need to live an abundant life and a life that's healthy and nourished um, and it's this energy of taking from me of like getting how much can I get from me you know so that I stay safe and not only I think is that a misguided energy an energy that doesn't help anyone including the possessor of that energy but it actually it actually hurts us all when anyone feels that way, when anyone stands before this abundant life, stands before this healing, self-healing entity of the physical body, and stands before the magnificent creation of all the plants and healing herbs that are here to nourish and sustain us, stands before all the beautiful, friendly animals of this planet, and stands before our fellow light beings and says, I need for me right now, I am concerned there won't be enough for me. And this idea is very destructive to all of us. And then of course there starts to be not enough for everyone when any one of us has too much. Uh, so instead, I think this uh, time really calls us to, to shift the energy, shift this consciousness away from gathering to giving to remember that the blessings and that the power of abundance and life are inside of us and they move from us into this world that was our original nature and in just a moment we can remember that to allow that love that wants to get out so bad. It's like kicking and screaming. Like, let me out to play with all the other beautiful children of the earth. And it wants to flood this planet. And it wants to flood the minds of all the light beings on this planet. And it wants to caress every plant and animal on this planet. And when just a few of us are living in that way. Not the... But the... Uh, it'll be contagious, I know it. It'll be very contagious. So, uh, I hope you're tempted. <laughs> you know, I hope that more of us start to, start to concentrate during every moment about changing that energy that's become kind of natural, that energy of like saving and gathering blessings for me. Uh, but we need to just become the blessing. 
and offer it, freely offered, for the joy of creation. That really is the joy. There is no joy to be found other than the joy of freely giving love to whatever is around you at that moment. In beauty, in peace, my love to you.